Strapped into his high-tech, high-powered suit, Iron Man, the comic strip superhero, is a prized military asset in the movie. He's the ultimate soldier. Hollywood styles it as futuristic fantasy, but decades of research, development and considerable investment have made bionic technology a reality. This wearable exoskeleton has helped Suzanne Edwards back on her feet. She broke her spine in a fall and has been confined to a wheelchair ever since. It's an amazing feeling to be told you're never going to walk again and then to be up and walking so, so quickly and easily in this and it feels so natural and normal, you know, you can't really fault it. From a project that started out with around $25 million in military-related grants, California-based Exobionics has now moved out of the lab and into the mainstream, setting up shop in Cambridge in the UK, their European base. Helping the paralysed out of wheelchairs is just the first step. We are working, working with soldiers, helping the, the, the most able body who can uh, imagine to carry more weight. And, uh, and to reduce the likelihood of back injuries. Then there are everybody in between that somehow need, for some reasons, power to, to, to whether it is uh, in construction workers, they need to hold up tools uh, to become more productive, uh, or simply you and me that just want to go and walk Kilimanjaro and we want to get that extra uh, power from a bionic leg. The exoskeleton also comes with a bionic price tag, $130,000. Considering that you're helping a lot of people to walk again, I think it's pretty cheap. Exobionics have sold 16 devices to rehabilitation centers and hospitals in the US and expects that to rise to 45 by the end of 2012. In Europe, they've sold one so far in Italy and expect to deliver another 15 to 20 this year. Our business case is really much based on that we will be a medical device company, focusing on what we are doing here, helping in the beginning spinal cord injured uh, to walk, then move over to stroke and other uh, pathologies uh, next year, and then over to the personal market following that. Uh, this alone will allow us to build up a very sun sustainable uh, company uh, in uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. The company plans to sell the suits off the rack and get prices down to around $80,000 within 24 months. As a starting point, this is absolutely incredible and where it will go in the next five to ten years is going to be so exciting for people like me. People like her will be following the company's developments with keen interest and with a little help on their own two feet. Juliet Mann, CNN, Cambridge in England.